Hey guys, it's Mike here from Grower's House and Canna Cribs Consulting. So today I've got a really cool product in front of me that I wish more people knew about. It's these Exhale 365 bags and just the Exhale bag of CO2 bags in general. So what these guys are, are basically a sterilized substrate and they come with a little mycelia pack. So what you do is when you start your grow, as soon as you fill your tent and you wanna start getting the CO2 to start rising through this bag, you go ahead and you pull this bar out you mix your mycelium pack into the actual substrate, and after a couple of weeks, you're gonna start to see the mycelium grow within this bag. Um, you put this bar back onto the bag so that you can hang it. You wanna hang this over your canopy. So these smaller 365, or just these smaller bags in general, they're gonna be good for about a four foot cubic space. So if your tent's four foot by four foot by four foot, that's generally the air that it's gonna need. Now if your tent's smaller, like a two foot by three, then you can have a taller tent I use one of these in a two by three by six foot tent because the volume is roughly the same as a four by four cubic. But I don't really need these to be at their peak because these at their peak can put out up to 1300 ppm of CO2. That's quite a bit. Generally, if you're above a thousand, that's good. So in a lot of your grow spaces, if you can monitor the CO2, you'll find that one of these bags, as long as you're over about 700 ppm, you're gonna see much bigger growth than if you weren't supplementing with CO2. We like these here because you don't need to use any regulators, you don't need to wheel bottles around. It's very safe, and by the time you're done with your growing cycle, you can toss these out with your root balls. Another cool thing about these is since these are funguses and they're doing cellular respiration, the more your plants jam out photosynthesis and kick out O2, the more the potential for these bags have to produce CO2 as well. So it kind of creates this great balance within your tent so that you have enough CO2 to just drive as much growth as you can, and you can then optimize the amount of light and the nutrients that you're delivering. So these also come in a larger XL bag. The larger XL bags come pre-inoculated, and you can just go ahead and hang them up. They generally last about six months. In our experience, they can last anywhere from about six to eight months, so that's really cool. They will continually produce CO2 for you, and then you just compost them or you throw them away. But the XL bags can actually give you up to nine months and a little bit longer than that. So depending on how long you're gonna be growing in your cycle, you can pick either an XL bag or a standard bag. A 365 bag will give you a little bit longer, but a little bit less CO2 production in the beginning when that, while that mycelium gets set up. So it really depends on how you're growing and when you need that CO2, but regardless of where you need it, the XL bag has a solution for you. So go ahead and check these guys out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Shoot us questions at canacribs.org and growershouse.com. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Who that big purr? When I pull up, it's her. I'm just an it girl. I just rock big pearls. Who that girl?